Well, October is here, and you know what that means. Halloween product releases. There's always some very cool stuff that comes out each year around this time, but today I have for you one of the coolest Halloween releases I have ever seen. All right, what is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to yet another video here on the channel. I am so excited about this video today. This one here hits several areas of nerdiness for me. I'm thinking it probably will for you guys as well. I mean, you can tell by the title, we're talking about this new Dracula pomade by Don Juan. And yes, this is cool by itself, but there's a few things about this release that haven't yet been revealed, which really for me just takes this to a whole new level. First off though, I suppose I should just tell you what this is. This here is the new Dracula pomade. It's a Halloween release by Don Juan using their Hibrido formula, the gel type that pretty much made them famous. And what they did was they took the Hibrido formula and transformed it into this Dracula themed pomade. And the first big reveal that I can share with you guys about this was this project was done in collaboration with Lugosi Enterprises. And if you have no idea who or, or what that is, I'm sure the majority of you do. I mean, come on. Bella Lugosi, most of the pe most people know who he is, but if you don't, he's the guy here on the label. He played Dracula in the 1930s film, and I'm sure somebody's going to comment, you're saying Lugosi wrong or Lugosi, I don't know. You guys know who I'm talking about. I'm probably saying it wrong, but he's the guy who starred as Dracula in the 1930s film, and he's highly regarded today as one of the best to ever ever play the role. Now, Mr. Lugosi did pass in 1956, but his fame and admiration continued to live on well past his death, and his family today, who handles his estate, they are the ones who collaborated with Don Juan to produce this pomade, which included several awesome things like using his image on the label, which I have to say is pretty freaking cool, if I'm being honest. I mean, look at, you know, look at his eyes. I mean, they, they kind of follow you around whichever you know angle you're at with the pomade it's really just creepy enough to be awesome really now the pomade itself is the hybrido formula but they did make a couple changes to it the first one being the color of course they chose to color this one blood red which i think is awesome and the other change had to do with the scent which is said to be reminiscent of an 18th century cologne which i'm told is based on a fragrance that happened to be bella lugosi's favorite cologne now i will talk a little bit more about the pomade here in a minute i'm not going to go too deep into it because we did already review Hebrido and this is again the same formula but I'll touch on it a little bit here in a second before we do that though there are a couple more things I want to discuss here some other cool points about this project here like the gift set that this will actually come in starting next week you see on the site there's gonna be a gift set available that will include this pomade a comb and a very special candle now this candle does something that I've never seen before you can actually see right here the candle itself is white it comes in this nice little shot glass here with Dracula's face on it Lugosi's face on it and initially everything looks pretty normal just a standard white candle you know you go on and give it a light same stuff different candle nothing too different here until it begins to melt I mean seriously check this out this is so freaking cool I've never seen this before I heard about it early I heard about it a couple months ago I went to Southern California for a trip and I got to meet up with Mario from Don Juan and he actually showed me what this candle does and I could not really I've never seen anything never seen anything like it I mean it's turning red as you as it melts it turns red I, I mean I'm sure someone will come along and you know try to piss on the parade a little bit and be like I've seen that a million times I've seen I've seen that everywhere candles that change colors like that I've never seen one though seriously I've never seen a wax candle do this I mean maybe I'm living in a shoebox or something but to me, this is just really freaking cool. And it's all about having fun and celebrating the season. And I think this just really takes the entire project to a really fun level, in my opinion. It's just a really nice touch. I mean, it, it's, it's red. Come on, it's a Dracula candle that turns red. And plus, you know, when the candle's all done, when it all burns out, you got a nice little Dracula shot glass, so 
bonus. Now let's go back to the pomade itself here. Let's talk specs on this guy real quick. The pomade itself here is described by Don Juan as a medium to high hold, medium shine water-based pomade that's blood red in color with a unique 18th century eau de cologne scent. Inside the jar here, we have our typical gel type with a nice blood red color, which for those wondering, no, it does not stain your hands or hair or anything like that. It actually goes clear in the hand pretty easily when you break it down, so nothing to worry about there. Actually using it too is pretty typical. It's actually identical to what we saw with the Hebrido. Obviously, it's the same formula, and if there was anything special to report here, like changes that I saw, I'd absolutely share that, but this really is the same. It's really nice and slick. It's got great stickiness. It's just a really nice gel type formula. And it's just super easy to work with. You can toss a couple of scoops into your damp hair and go to work styling. You don't have to worry about things like it hardening up on you in five seconds or anything like that. It gives you the time to get your style and really styling with it is overall quite enjoyable. I do think here in the end that this was a solid formula choice for Don Juan to use for this project. I mean, a lot of people love Hybrido, so and I really like it too. So I think this was a great choice. I do actually prefer Don Juan's gel types too over ones like Suavecito these days. And that's really because they just, for me, work better. This one specifically is just super easy to style with. It doesn't harden up as much as other things out there, but it still keeps the hair in place and provides a really great look in the hair. And it's just got a lot of things in the formula that I consider to be superior than other brands. But beyond that, beyond those formula features, we have a lot of awesome little things that made up this collab between Don Juan and Lugosi that I really enjoyed. Like the artwork, for example, the artwork is just really nice and creepy, just enough creepy, like I said, to be awesome. I think it fits really well. It was really nicely done, in my opinion. The color of the pomade, I mean, what else, What other color are you going to make this? Seriously, what other color? Are you going to make it lime green? I don't think so. It's a Dracula pomade. You make it blood red. That's great. The scent, this scent is extremely nice, in my opinion. Even with my scent allergies, I really enjoyed the scent. It's got a lot of citrus in there, which is a, a scent profile that works really well with me. I'm really, I really enjoy citrus type things, especially lemon. I don't really get lemon specifically in there. I'm just saying that I enjoy lemon. And so it's got a lot of that citrus in there, but it's still nice and manly. And for me, it really just takes things to a whole new level where it's more personal. Like this here is the scent that this man, Bella Lugosi, enjoyed. This is the scent that he preferred to wear on a daily basis. And so this, for me, just brings it to a very personal level and it kind of ties the project together. On top of that, you got this awesome gift set that they're offering, you know, with the candle and the comb. It's just great, in my opinion. It's a really nice touch for this season. I love this candle. I mean, look at this. You guys can't, you know, it's dripping on the table. You guys can't see it, you know, from where you're at, but it's turning red. I mean, I just, I love that. I freaking love that. Again, it's just little things like that that make these projects so much better, in my opinion. It's just another thing for us to enjoy, and I just, I really enjoy it when brands go to lengths like this to make things cool and enjoyable for us when we purchase them. If you would like to check out the Dracula pomade, though, it is actually out now. It's out now at the Don Juan site. I will link that in the description there. It's for sale for 15 bucks just for the pomades. 15 bucks is a pretty good price, actually. The combo set with the candle and the comb and the pomade will be out next week. They haven't yet told me a price tag on that, so I can update everyone when I figure that out. It will be released next week. It will be available at the Don Juan site, so be on the lookout for that if you're interested in that. Let me know, too, in the comment section down below what you guys thought about this release. I am obviously curious to see what you guys thought about this project if you guys really enjoyed it or what especially about that candle again that freaking candle how about that and if you'd be also so kind as to leave me a thumbs up too here that's a big help and as always if you haven't yet subscribed you just need to do it at this point if you're watching my videos constantly and you haven't yet subscribed there's really no point to that hit the button it's just it's a really quick thing and it helps me out so much so make sure you do that it's a big help to me i really appreciate it take it easy i'll see you next time